Hello there, and welcome to Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and we are in the middle of a series called Love Poems from God. Twelve sacred voices from the East and the West share poetry that um, they um, were conduits through which God um, placed the poetry to share with the world. So right now we are focusing on Rumi, and this will be last the last um, segment of what turned out to be six episodes where we really delved in to the heart and the life of Rumi. So without further ado, let's get started. The first poem is called It's Rigged. It's rigged. Everything. In your favor. So... There is nothing to worry about. Is there some position you want? Some office? Some acclaim? Some award? Some con? Some lover? Maybe two? Maybe three? Maybe four? All at once? Maybe a relationship with God? I know there is a gold mine in you. When you find it The wonderment of the earth's gifts you will lay aside, as naturally as does a child, a doll. But dear, how sweet you look to me, kissing the unreal. Comfort, fulfill yourself in any way possible. Do that until you ache, until you ache. Then come to me again. The next one is called My Lips Got Lost. My lips got lost on the way to the kiss. That's how drunk I was. Luckily, though, I still connected with the most tender part of her. The moon conceived... What a wild-looking baby we're going to have. This poem is called, I Guess You Don't, You Won't Mind. Great lions can find peace in a cage. But we should only do that as a last resort. So those bars I see that restrain your wings... I guess you won't mind if I pry them open. This poem is called Bloodsuckers from Hell. Rumi, speaking to a crowd, muses, Watch out for those bloodsuckers from hell, because they're everywhere. And the crowd wisely retorts, That sounds serious. What do they look like? Any hints? Are they usually disguised? Rumi again. Yes, usually they are awful tricky. How then to detect them? Well, I have noticed their eyes will narrow and their faces begin to squint like prunes if they hear good poetry. I'd like to leave you with this poem that I've read in a prior episode, but it's one that um, I hope you take deeply into your heart. It's called Deceive Our Glory. Something inside said I was a mineral, and I was so glad to just be. I replied, I'll take that job. It sounds like fun. But after eons... Roots appeared on my soul that wanted to nurse from a warm body and the wonder of her love, the tenderness of the earth, lifted me into the air and I beheld light and praised it from the fields. Time sculpted my senses and another song I heard. You are more than plant. You are like those extraordinary beasts. So I believed that and roamed and roamed. But then I started thinking, what is my real truth? 
I became the wings on falcons and angels. I flirted with God in the sky. And I believe that he, once in a while kissing me, would be as close to love as I would get. But now I know all words and images deceive our glory. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and subscribe in your favorite podcast venue and share this with a friend who you think would be encouraged by it.